I am Suresh. I am president of uh, Cambridge Mobile Telematics uh, at our India office. Um, I am with uh, Cambridge Mobile Telematics uh, for the last four years. Um, prior to that, I have uh, industry experience for nearly 30 years in various uh, domains and technologies. Yeah, so CMT, um, Cambridge Mobile Telematics is CMT. CMT is uh, founded in 2010. Uh, I started off as a cartel project at uh, MIT, uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where um, um, at the Computer Science AI lab, uh, two of the professors, uh, Hari Balakrishnan, and uh, who's an alumnus of IIT Madras, um, and then uh, Sam Madden, the two of them were investigating how to use um, the technologies inside the car to expand uh, beyond the vehicle into understanding road uh, traffic patterns so that it can improve the life on the road for the commuters. That's how it started. So the investigation gave some new ideas for them. Then they thought it could be commercialized. They spun off in uh, 2010 as a venture out of MIT. And then uh, 2012, is, 20, uh, 12, we first launched our commercially viable product to the marketplace. That's how it started, the journey started for CMT. Four years ago, in 2020, I started uh, discussing this idea of starting a research center in India because till then, uh, all happened at Cambridge, uh, at MIT campus, around the MIT campus. So I said, if you had a similar cable in India, India had great engineers, why not we have, uh, and why not we tap into this talent in India? And then uh, on top of that, uh, you know, IIT was, flooded with companies with the research center uh, here. I thought it's the best opportunity to really combine all these wishes into one. I was also one of the early um, you know, participant in IIT ecosystem through my earlier company, Cognizant. We were one of the first tenants of IIT Madras. So I had uh, I'd been to this system for more than 10 years now, actually. Uh, CMT's mission is to make the world's road safer. So that's our mission always, and we continue to be having the same vision and uh, mission. So we are interested in life safety, driver safety, and road safety across wherever the roads are, actually, wherever the vehicles can right now. So right now, our mission is to make sure the cars are, um, you know, safe, and people uh, traveling in the cars are safe. And then roads are safe for pedestrians, and roads safe for all other uh, vehicles. Not just cars, but all other vehicles. So we are trying to um, put technologies that can, uh, you know, help in this uh, larger mission. Um, we are broadly uh, in all the continents right now. We are operating in uh, 26 countries, and um, we have more than 30 million users right now enjoying the power of the technology that we provide. It's a great question. Um, CMT, when we actually when we created this product, um, we were uh, investigating about what causes crashes in the roads, what's causing the uh, risk in the road, and what can be safety in the road. When we were investigating and creating, uh, we understood multitudes of challenges in addressing regulatory requirements because each we have we operated in 50 states in the US, right? Each state has different requirements. So each regulatory authority put multitudes of requirements for, uh, you know, putting this as a technology on the road. So we were able to, you know, cross all these ch challenges and that became an excellent differentiator for us. As a, So today we are a world leader and uh, today we have approved models for all the 50 states. An insurance company want to roll out a new telematics product they can take our model and uh, go to the industry and uh, produce. So we actually created a whole new industry which never existed before our product came into. So that's the biggest differentiator. We continue to enjoy that uh, pioneering activity. We are leaders in Europe, we are leaders in uh, Japan, and uh, we're starting to, uh, you know, um, at least seed our uh, you know, models into Asia Pack. The safety can be, let's say you travel over one and a half hours or two hours, Every minute you have to be safe, every second you have to be safe. Which means identifying which second, the, the crash happens within 1.2 to 2 seconds. That's all the, what is a <laughs> uh, great journey versus 
bad journey was at 2 seconds, 1.2 to 2 seconds. How do you manage to understand the risk that can potentially avoid that 2 seconds of bad experience or worst experience for the life is what we are interested in. It's a parts per million problem actually. That's a very, very complex problem from the AI perspective. And that's what, uh, that's the biggest challenge I would say technically. We're just now working with four of the verticals. Um, insurance is one of the biggest one, personal lines. We're looking at the newly evolving gig and commercial uh, industries, which is like uh, Swiggy, etc. And then um, they are interested in saving their deliveries and their drivers and their vehicles. And then cars, ca car companies, there are many cars that are still unconnected. And uh, we want to connect the unconnected. And then uh, there are uh, companies who want to extend the safety beyond home, right? Uh, so these are all the opportunities right now, uh, immediate opportunities that we see in the next three to seven year horizon. Over the next 15, 20, 30 years, uh, we'll be observing the software and hardware if when they start to drive the autonomy, autonomous cars. So that's our vision actually. So we'll be always an observable company, observing company, because software can fail, hardware can fail, human can fail, but uh, we can observe and help actually. Mm, opportunities are many. I can say uh, many new products have to be invented, both software and hardware. So today we we have a IoT device um, that's part of our product that captures, um, you know, 1000 uh, hertz frequency. That means we can get a sample per every millisecond. So the youngsters can create completely newer experiences across actually. Today, nothing is augmented in the road actually. And everything can be augmented, for example. And you can sit here in Chennai and you can travel to New York and come back. Or you can travel from, uh, you know, financial district in New York to, uh, let's say, uh, Times Square. You can travel from here. The entire uh, scene can be recreated, for example. So people, uh, old age people who cannot travel, who cannot even think of traveling, now they can travel. So we can expand the time beyond. There are multiples. I am just uh, throwing few, but there are multiple such ideas. Okay, so uh, India is generally uh, tagged with services. And uh, we have evolved in the last 30 years. If you look at uh, uh, early 80s, we were not known for uh, software services, right? And uh, is uh, from there where we have evolved today, we are the capital of services for the world actually. We know how to create a service with similar, same mindset that is required for, uh, you know, how to create a product. That's one. Then product requires certain patience. We have to live through certain years of experimentation and uh, we have to find the right users. It takes time actually. Uh, not that everybody is waiting for our product to come in actually. They have a pain point, but it has to still, and there will be enough friction points that needs to be handled. So we need to have a collaborative mindset, not invented everything here, mind syndrome to collaborate and uh, leverage each other. That is something that we have to build upon. See, IIT, uh, IITM is first understand it's a completely heterogeneous ecosystem. Unlike uh, other campuses, generally you have a homogeneous. Let's say you go to a specific company ecosystem, it's a homogeneous IT and uh, uh, IT operations. When you come to IIT research part, it is about 300, 400 companies from a one member startup to, you know, 400, 500 people or corporations sitting here, right? That's that's the kind of diversity that we have. And second, there are people of different capabilities are sitting here, right? People with the accessibility requirements to, um, you know, high-end researchers sitting here actually. And then there are different verticals covered here from uh, biotech to agriculture to battery to automotive to satellites to, you can name it, almost every possible technology industry is covered here. So when you walk into IIT Research Park, we're really walking into a dream world of technology, actually. So that's first thing for all our employees. So when we chose the IIT Research Park, all our employees feel very fresh every day. When they walk through the halls of the IIT Research Park, they see multitudes of companies, they meet people of different kinds. That's one. And second, professors and students and employees, they all, they don't, you don't see the difference. They're all sitting together. You know, when you go into academic ecosystem, there's a difference. That entire difference really uh, 
collides completely here. It just vanishes completely. That brings creativity to everyone. Everyone feels part of the creativity ecosystem. That's um, that's second. And third, uh, uh, there is an incentive for everyone to create and grow. This is one place. Growth is constant actually. And morning till evening, you can see people vibrant with activities. And you just go to cafeteria, there are people talking. You go to hallways and you go sitting in the, uh, you know, the steps, lift. People are always talking about technology. Some, some technology are there. What can be better than this actually, right? And uh, there are enough mentors coming here. Uh, VCs come here. And then I go to many of those forums, for example. And then there are uh, many consulting companies come here. There are a lot of partners come here and uh, help to, uh, you know, how to commercially scale from... Uh, so you have examples, living examples here. There are companies who moved from two-member uh, startup to 20-member startup, 20-member to billion, uh, billion dollars, uh, you know, unicorn. So you have examples of all kinds here exist. You can't get anything better than this from, uh, you know, how to commercialize, uh, you know, an idea to a, you know, socially impacting, you know, business actually.